hi guys welcome back in this angular video tutorial we are going to learn how we can call a api so it's a very simple tutorial we will just get a api get api and we don't need to make any api also okay so this link is given in the description box and you can just uh, uh, hit that this is a simple api you don't need to any token you don't need to any login and anything else just put this and you will get this stuff from here all right so now let's get start with this tutorial okay so first of all uh, this is my code and here you can see that this is an app component and uh, this is my title if just and this is uh, interpolated here so if I just uh, going to I'm going to just change in the title and it will be reflect reflect on here all right fine so Uh, first of all uh, you have to go into your app model which is uh, placed here and here you have to import first of all the HTTP client model okay so just type here import from and just put the at the rate and after the putting the at the rate just write here angular and uh, common and after that you just have to call the HTTP all right and just put the semicolon and now when you are going to type here it will uh, automatically suggest you then what you want to uh, import here okay so I think we don't need here actually uh, we just need a uh, yes fine so just write here HTTP client module okay and import this module here all right and after that uh, what you have to do just copy it uh, okay we don't need that for now okay so and now we have to create a service now okay for that just go to the command line and just get everything from here and just uh, simply type here ng G means generate service service and service name what do you want to let's say I want to put it get API okay just hit the enter and you can see that we got the service here and this is the service uh, testing file and this is our service file okay so now after going uh, coming in the service what you have to do uh, you have to just copy this line from here so that we can make it very quickly okay so import it and now you don't need HTTP client module here just you need to the HTTP client and uh, that's it we don't need header for now okay and after that uh, just uh, inside the constructor parameter just write here private and private like uh, and write here HTTP and just like that okay and after doing this uh, you just need to make a function uh, like I'm just going to make a API call function and here we are going to uh, call this API so that after that why we are going to make a service why we are not doing this all because uh, API should be separate from our uh, component part because an API can be used in many modules also that's why we are putting it the different okay so I'm just going to write here return this dot HTTP dot get because we are calling the get APIs and just pass here URL okay so where is the URL here is URL just write that okay very fine so now just uh, call this function this function into our app component but before that we must have to do one more thing what we have to import the service which is we did not yet do okay just write here import and uh, 
uh, for that we have to just write here from and it will automatically suggest you that get API service fine and just now start typing here uh, what service we have to import so just uh, go there and you can copy this one which is a class name and just do that here okay after doing that we need one more to do thing just uh, make a constructor here also and inside the constructor parameter uh, just take a private why we, we are going to take private not public because we are not going to inherit this class and then uh, inherit this object okay just write here api and this one okay so it will uh, go the all uh, everything from there now just uh, simply write here ng uh, on it on in it okay fine so, and now after that uh, just write here this dot api because this is service uh, this is inherited from here and api dot the function name api call which is present here okay now after that just write here subscribe uh, okay this is the function actually dot subscribe okay and inside the subscriber you just need to pass some uh, a variable which is data and call like this just write here one and inside the one just uh, you can simply write here uh, get api data and print the data okay simple uh, why we use a subscribe because when we uh, subscribe the api we are easily accessible uh, the old data from uh, the API and we can pass it to the uh, other our, our class variable all right so now just check inside it the console what we got it so now you can see that we got the data here okay so now I'm going to put this title on here so how let's see so for that just write here this dot title that we are just doing here is we are going to change it equal to data dot title simple whenever this api is going to call then uh, this data will be automatically load inside the title and this string will be changed with this string okay so you already can you can see that you already change okay i'm going to refresh this okay uh, for a second it will be showing the previous one why because uh, that time api is just calling okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and uh, if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, thanks for watching this